The next group of engines are Stirling engines, or hot air engines. There is a fuel container, the furnace, a chimney, a water cooling tower, a flywheel, and when it's heated up, a spin of the flywheel will start the engine. It is not a steam engine. There are two cylinders, a power cylinder and a displacement cylinder. The engine was invented and developed by the Reverend Dr. Robert Sterling and his brother James, an engineer. The original patent by Reverend Sterling was called the Economizer for its enhancement of fuel economy. Actually, it will burn anything in order to raise heat to run the engine. They could use sugar cane, wood, coal, paper, whatever would burn. The engines run very quietly. During World War II, the Dutch used these little engines attached to a generator that would allow the use of radios and telephones in order to send messages underground. They were hard to detect because of being very quiet, very simple to use, and very easy to hide. This little fan is air-cooled rather than water-cooled as the one next to it. In the late 1800s and the early 1900s, fans of this type were used the world over in areas where there was no electricity. They are still in use today. I was told they tried to develop this engine for airplanes, but it did have too many shortcomings. There are companies developing much more sophisticated engines using the same principles developed by Reverend Dr. Robert Sterling and his brother James. The little engine on the left, with the pink piston moving up and down, is being heated by a 15 watt bulb in the base of the uh, model. Yes, it's a tractor. It has the same engine in it as the one behind it, except that it's lying on its side. You can see the action of it with the flywheel, the piston rod, and so long as it's fueled with the alcohol, it'll just keep running. This is only a model. It has a Stirling engine. It's radio controlled to direct its movements. But just think, a full-size one with a Stirling engine 
used in a farm field, cutting up corn to be sent out somewhere. But as you run out of fuel, take a few stalks, throw them into the furnace, and you just keep going.